Hello everybody, and welcome back to How Minecraft Works. In this video, we will be adding in another optimization to further reduce the intensive frame drops. Yes, I know I said that I will be doing terrain editing in the last video, but I tested something that is pretty important that will greatly contribute to the frame consistency. So without further ado, let's get started. First, in the World Generator class, separate the data generation code into its own class. Once that is finished, create a constructor for the data generator that takes in an instance of the world generator to be stored as a variable. Next up, we will create a queuing system for keeping the coordinates in which data will be generated. Now, let's make an IE enumerator that will act as a loop to call the generate data function and await for it to complete. With those lines complete, let's go back into the Mesh Creator class and do the same changes. Just like in the Data Generator class, we create a queuing system for the generation of meshes to prevent large dips in frames due to the high amount of objects being allocated and coroutines being run all at once. Once you are done implementing the following code, it is now time to change the create chunk I enumerator in the world generator class to work with the new systems implemented. Once the modifications on the world generator class is complete, the optimization of the generation of chunk data and meshes are finally complete. 
Now, if you go back into the Unity Editor and play, the frame dips have been completely eliminated, and large render distances can be done with stable frame rates. If you want to make the generation faster, you can create a maximum number of chunks to generate per cycle, which can be applied to the data and mesh generator. In the next video, I will go over terrain editing, which is a fairly simple implementation. So if you're interested, like and subscribe. Other than that, I hope to see you on the next video. Goodbye.